I'm about to show you the three pillar system I use to blow up on TikTok. So this is a case study. I got 426,000 views on one video and I gained 1,037 followers in less than two weeks. We use the repeatable process to blow up and drive dollars with info product sales. My client had a lot of courses on how to make money. This is a screenshot of the video, 426,000 views. I'm gonna play the video on screen right now. Right now I'm broke. I'm what? This is a guy with 594K on this channel. How much does the Sneeko main channel have? 1.21 million, but he's broke. How do you have the attention of 1.21 million people, but you can't figure out a way to monetize it? It seems like he can't figure out anything, and it seems like he really shouldn't be leading you. The first pillar is controversy. I implemented controversial topics into the video. People love controversy and are way too overinvested in drama. When viewers see a controversial video, they tend to open the comment section and scroll for ages. Someone will eventually join the conversation and start a debate. When people are reading the comments, it counts as watch time. This is why it's in your best interest to optimize for a discussion-based comment section. To do this, you can start a conversation yourself using other accounts, which is exactly what I did. Watch time is the number one search metric to push your content out to more people. That's why you need to optimize for it in every single video. It's literally like the only thing that matters. The second pillar is all about taking advantage of trends. I used the Twitter search bar to see what was trending at the time, and then I went to Google Trends to look at the chart. Hey, what's up guys? If you're an agency owner, coach, or consultant doing over 25K per month, and you want inbound leads through social media completely done for you using only two hours per month of your time, or you don't pay, hit the first link in the description. That's all, back to the video. Using Google Trends, you can check the search volume of any search term. I saw that the video was on a huge uptrend. I posted like right around here. Compared to the past, it was going up like crazy. Same thing for Andrew Tate. Right now, it looks like it didn't go up that much, but that's only because this drop is here, so it zoomed out the whole chart. But this was on a crazy uptrend as well, and I knew I had to capitalize on this. So I found a way to implement those two controversial topics that were trending into my video and made them fit into my niche. My client's info products were surrounded around making money, so he talked about how Sneeko had no money. Notice how we took a broad topic like Sneeko and we made him fit into our niche, which is how to make money. The third pillar is familiarity. Put a nostalgic video that a lot of people are familiar with in the bottom half of the video. People's attention spans are small, so when you put something at the bottom of the video, it lets them distract their minds, and they also get a bunch of dopamine from just looking at something that's moving around or completing tasks. On top of that, I used a video game that most people used to play when they were younger, so seeing it on screen gives them like nostalgic emotions. I used a video of a Bugatti driving, and that car is associated with Andrew Tate. That's how I implemented another trending topic into the video without actually mentioning his name or showing a picture of him. Everybody knows Andrew Tate, and most people have very strong opinions about him. So whenever they see a video that makes them think about Andrew Tate or they see Andrew Tate, they always go straight to the comment section. In summary, I leverage people's emotions and attention spans to increase watch time. Earlier I said watch time was the number one search metric, so that's exactly what I optimized for. I want to go back and emphasize this point on how I use the video game. You can't just put any video game. It has to be GTA 5, Fallout Guys, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 World at War, Modern Warfare 2, all those games are good. You just need something that people will recognize. So here's a bonus section. How do you translate all of these views into money? You need to start by creating broad video topics that don't hard sell your product or service, but they're still related to your niche. That's exactly what I did with this video. In this video, I didn't mention my client's info products, but it's still related to his niche about making money. You don't want to make a video that's not related to your niche at all, because then you're going to start attracting the wrong people who won't even buy your service. It's more important to build an audience that might actually buy your product rather than building an audience of random people. After you make broad video topics, you need to start making videos that clearly mention the service or product you're selling. And then right in the middle here, you can actually make videos that show your expertise on the product, but don't mention that you're selling something. People don't like to know when they're being sold to, so it's good to not always put a CTA at the end of your video telling people to buy something. The final step, of course, is to have a landing page in bio. You need somewhere to direct all of this traffic to, and a landing page is a great spot. You can use ClickFunnels, Card, or any other basic website builder. All of this traffic turns into booked calls or sales. By making videos that appeal to a large audience, you're casting a wide net. 
These people will check out your profile and watch your other videos. You need to have two types of videos. One, a wide net that targets a broad audience. This should make up one third of your content. And then you need to make more narrow content that's going towards a specific audience. This should make up two thirds of your content. Even though the wide net will only consist of 33% of your videos, they'll attract way more people. Then use the narrow content to show your expertise related to the product or your service. Your target audience will resonate with your narrow content and check out your page. It's important to have a nicely structured bio that entices people to click the link to your landing page. On your landing page, make sure you have a VSL and a Calendly link so you can book calls. Depending on your service, you're going to want to structure your landing page differently. If you're an info product seller, you might not need a VSL and you definitely won't need a Calendly link. But if you're a service-based business like me, you definitely need a VSL and a Calendly link. If you want to get inbound leads from your short form content using only two hours per month of your time or you don't pay, check out the first link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know what video you'd like to see in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, helps me out a lot and I'll see you in the next one.